Welcome to our channel, A Trade of You. I'm your girl, Amory. And I'm your girl, Wan. And today we have a special guest, an artist known as C4. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So today we're going to be talking to C4 and he's going to tell us about his background, how he got into music and where it all started for him. So, C4. Hey. First question that we have for you is, um, when and where did it all start for you? Um... In terms of my career or more just music in general? Music, we'll begin with music. Music in general. Yeah. Alright, cool. So um, I grew up in the church. So okay. yeah, so I started singing in church at first. Oh, you um, sing? Yeah, 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 I sing as well. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. What's this? In church, okay, praise yeah. God. <laughs> So yeah, I started um, singing in church. Um, it was cool, but when you're young, as a guy, singing is a, wasn't really cool back then, innit? Yeah. So it was kind of like a thing I didn't really do, I didn't really want to do, innit? Yeah. Um, and then I remember there was like a Kurt Franklin song, Lovely Day, and he's got, yeah, a, he's got a rap verse on there. And I remember trying to do that verse and I couldn't do it, couldn't get the flow. Oh. Um, so I think from there, it was kind of like a challenge, you know, those ones. And then... Yeah. Um, I don't know when I first started rapping or MCing. I think it was when I started second, no, primary school. Yeah, Ooh, primary wow. school. Yeah, 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 ages ago. Because uh, usually it starts in secondary. Everybody's always, everyone's an MC in secondary yeah, school. Everyone isn't it? Yeah, everyone's an MC in secondary. Girls, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was an MC. <laughs> and I can't even rap. I don't know who told me I was an MC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bars, yeah. <laughs> I had no bars. My other friends did. Mine was called Lady Bumper. You know, back then, we were called Lady Bumper. <laughs> Started from it started proper early for me primary school and then um yeah it just continued just continued into secondary school um tried to do football you know in and out it wasn't really me but then mc just stuck and i just loved mc and so yeah that was me nice. but what made you start doing music what was like the main thing the main influence yeah um what was my main influence I don't know, you know, I think I just loved grime, like yeah. what was going on in London, what was going on in Birmingham, mm. you know, you had your Midlands Mafias and all of that, yeah. and, you know what I mean, and I just took inspiration from them lot, and I just, I thought I was good, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean, and I just continued, so that was uh, my main influence to, to go in still. Was there any particular artist that made you? want to get started or somebody that followed and you thought yeah i want to be so at the time my favorite mcs early was kano fashi oh yeah. yes yeah. love some kano fashi black boys black boys that's my song yeah. 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 So early, early bashi though when he was doing like the chopper chops mixtape i know only bashi son <laughs> <laughs> i know kano though peace and peace. yeah yeah kano yeah. like hi kano <laughs> <laughs> why they get me um so Wiley back in the day, his instrumentals, his in his beats more yeah. more so than his his bars. You Eskimo, know I mean? yeah, Eskimo, all of them. I used to be on um, Big Apple Records and Hard to Find Records, like searching all the grime instrumentals and mm. all that techie stuff. But um, yeah, that was that was that was me still. Birmingham wise, yeah. Um, obviously Vader, um, obviously Devil Man. Um, who else from Birmingham, man? There was a few, there was a few back people. Days, yeah. Like, you yeah. know what I'm trying to say? Like, everyone was. Was Trilla like, back then there as old after you? I think Trilla's more my generation, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's older than me, but it was more my generation. Yeah. Um, MySpace days and that. Yeah. Like, you know oh, MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take me back. Yeah, older me. Mm. Do you remember your first song? Um. So, my first song was just me and um, was it what was it what was it what was it first time i recorded so i had a crew called ruskin network oh, okay and that was just me and my friends it was me my brother predator um my younger brother he doesn't do music anymore yeah and just other guys from around the ends um so yeah we was um just recording on like a power nine mic more than what you want to record on and then, uh, what it, you could record and sorry like, was it like a hangout every day like yeah oh, listen, school and 
yo, we was just in the streets, like underneath the lamppost and that. Just oh, I got oh, this wow. new lyric, you know. We were like, at the time, like I felt like our thing was unique because we we knew everyone's bars and we just gassed it up so much. Like, yeah. say, yeah. man, we'll spit a lyric. And then I was just like, lock it off, just water down. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, was proper, it was proper gas like that. And um, I'm sad that didn't really translate to like the camera days and yeah. you know, the films, you know, them ones. Cause I feel like the chemistry, you were, you were yeah, 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 the chemistry yeah. was too mm. nuts. But um, mm. we done tunes and all of that. But um, yeah, I'd say my first tune, like proper, proper just recording was, um, it was a freestyle on Terra Dangerous beat called Radar. Mm. And this was when I was about 13, 14. Oh, wow. Can you remember yeah. the lyrics? You know, there's, there's always a song yeah, when you I know remember the bars, though. I remember some of the bars, but yeah, I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to say that. <laughs> you know what? I don't want to flop it. Can you only get somebody in the comments like, wait, wait, that's not how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I try correction. <laughs> but, um, well, you want me to say with the lyrics? If, if, you, if you got it, yes. Okay, right. A bit whack now, isn't it? But it's like, yo. <laughs> you was fair. This is where you yeah, started, like, come on. Right yeah, it's like, yo. <laughs> step on your head like, uh, step on your head like one, two, might check one, two, do what I want to, used to be one, two, yeah, I was one, two, I'll be the one, two, merc you quickly. I'm one, three now, you can never merc me now, I'm a G now, you can never hurt me now, one, three now, get me now, channel MC now, make all your team now. I said, hey. you need some cream now. Oh. A little <laughs> <Vaseline> now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I didn't even do it like two. I remember. Yeah. Okay, okay. When, when you, Vintage. Can I hang now? What do you mean? You should read them, but once you remix it, you remix it. Yeah. You might remix it. Yeah. 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 That's well. good. Yeah. That's very good at yeah. yeah. Mine was about rice and peas and chicken. That was gonna get it. I was just about to think about what was my rap about? Random, random stuff yeah. like cinema and yeah. holes yes. and one tied in. I used to write down little Kim's like lyrics and, and then my cousin caught me like, what you write? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it has their lyrics well. Yeah. 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 And I used secondary school. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Don't even know what I'm rapping about, but I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So yeah, nah, them, them days are good, man. Them days are good still. And my first lyric that kind of um, popped off was a lyric. So basically, back then, I didn't have, you know, I didn't have like a real MC name in it. Yeah. So I was just kind of running with my my normal name, trying to, you know, I might as well just say, I was um, trying to think of a name. I had some dead names. It's <laughs> <laughs> it? not a process. Yeah. What, was, what, was it? what was the first one? The man had like um at the end of the name like danger or yeah, 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 yeah. you know yeah. I'm trying to say mine was spoiler for something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, afterwards I like, this is dead, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then I had the next one, what was my next one? Um so I had a cousin in in, in secondary school. He was like in year eleven when I first got in, I was like, yeah, looking up to him and whatever. So I called myself the little version of him, so his name was Squeeze, yeah. a little squeeze. So and I was like, nah, that's, you know, it's not really going in. Um, <laughs> for me, anyway, I'm just doing this thing. And then, um, oh, what was the next one? Ah, oh, Jinx. But then someone was like, nah, that name's not good, you know? And I was like, all right, cool, you know what? C4. And then it just stuck. Yeah. Did that just come out of nowhere? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just thought it sounded cool. Be like yeah. that but yeah. then, um, yeah, it just stuck, and then I had to do it. C four four, yeah, all right, and then that was the lyric that kind of yeah. um, cemented my name in it. Mm. So mm. it's good though. Thank it's you. the unplanned ones that are the best though. Yeah, when it yeah, comes yeah, to natural, natural thing. Mm. Did you remember, say, like your first show, first performance? Yeah, first performance. So yeah. I remember. Yeah, we got angry kid. You don't MC anymore. But, yeah. <laughs> 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 I remember, yeah, there was, a, there was a rave called Desire back in the day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a few of them that was going on. And then um, I was young, I wasn't even meant to leave. I wasn't even meant to like, leave the house or whatever. He wasn't really there about that. He was like, snuck out and <laughs> Um, I wasn't really a bad youth, but obviously I just love music so yeah. much. Yeah, just Curious, like, it? yeah, just went through the window and like. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then, um, yeah, I remember me and um, me and Fred, yeah, we went to Desire, and um, I wasn't booked or anything. I just mm. went. I just wanted to see what I wanted. Fred was oh. DJing, and then um, like my friends rated me in it, and I knew people knew the C4 lyric, but I mm. didn't really know because back then there wasn't like a thing to kind of gauge how much people knew who yeah. were. You know, no, I mean, social YouTube media, about, no yeah. social media. So. Yeah, my friend was just gassing me, he's like, yo, go on stage, man, touch mic. I was like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> he gassed me so much, angry, he gassed me so much, yeah. I just said, oh, you know what, it. went on stage now, all timid and that, scared, like. <laughs> then I would think Temper, Temper's another MC in the ends, he was on the mic, and then um, he passed it to me. And then I was just like, diving, come across me, then you won't be surviving, I don't know what you're trying, and then, whoop, reload, he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, so when, when I got the reload now, I was like, yo, it's C4, then the crowd went mad. And I was like, oh shit, they know the lyric, yeah, you know what I Yes. So then um, I came back in with that lyric and I got the biggest reload of the night basically and I wasn't booked in it. So that was like a big, you know what I mean? That was yeah. like a big kind of grand opening on stage still. Mm. So yeah, man, good times, good times. You nervous? How do you feel when you're getting up there? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you made the decision, you just... Yeah, I was nervous, but... Um, I don't know, but when you're young, you know, you're not really thinking too deep into like the situation, really. Yeah. You're just kind of like, all right, let me just do it. Go and for it. Yeah, yeah. Just go yeah. for it and see what happens. So, yeah, it was a good, uh, it was a good night, man. Sounds like a high point still. Yeah. <laughs> what was the music industry like in Brom when you came out? Um, so, I've seen Birmingham kind of have different stages from when I first came out. So, <clears throat> basically, when I first started doing music, there was already a generation before me doing it. So you realize I said Midlands Mafia, Graveyard Shift, um, bare names, bare names in it, I can't remember all of them. But um, basically, I was coming into an industry where it was mostly radio. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like a thing of, okay, people are selling records and people are charting. It was just kind of like radio, yeah. um, DVDs, um, <laughs> you get me, all of that stuff. So. I came from that generation, watching them, being like the younger person, trying to do what they're doing. And then um, my generation kind of kicked off with Bluetooth, yeah. sending tunes through Bluetooth and all of that. Yeah, so that was our team. Couldn't get on radio, obviously, too young and that. Yeah. And then um, MySpace, as I said, MySpace days, Birmingham was just more man of playing your tunes at the back of the bus, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And all of that stuff, everyone trying to just spit bars and do their thing. Um, and then, yeah, just we just kind of grew. YouTube came uh, when I was in school. But at the time, actually, I was like, not to be BK or whatever, but I was like the first person from like my generation to have a video on Channel U. <coughs> I had a song called Detention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was like my kind of big, you know, That's big say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big. So Birmingham wasn't really, it wasn't. You know what I'm trying to say for like my generation anyway. Yeah, like your generation. Like, yeah, my generation. There wasn't a lot of stuff going on. We just made things happen for ourselves, innit? Mm. Like, mm. Uh, That's what you have to do. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. We just we just kind of loved the music and we just wanted to do it and we just made it happen. Did so you find it hard to kind of like break through, or like not so much break through, but you know what I mean? I didn't. I didn't actually find it that challenging. Um, I'll be honest, basically, because <laughs> I was so young, mm -hmm. and my, obviously I come from like a church background and whatever, mm -hmm. I think, like, my mum was kind of protective of me, in it. Mm -hmm. Like, she didn't really want me to be out of the house late, and, yeah. and obviously, with crime, it's late, it's sense, mm -hmm. it's, you know what I'm yeah. saying, there's a lot of madness going on. Mm -hmm. um, so, I didn't do as much work as other people did, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say. But when I did something, it was effective. So best way to do it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But um, I wasn't like a forced thing either. Like people just kind of latched onto what I was doing. Um, so then when I kind of <laughs> when I kind of got that um, <laughs> thing of my mom kind of be like, all right, cool. Like you know what I mean. You're kind of older, old enough. Freedom. Kind of, yeah, I got my little freedom. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, from there it was just like go time in it, and um, that's when I kind of had all the music video on Channel U, mm -hmm. and um, I had like a big clash at the time as well with another MC, 
um, in Birmingham and that kind of um, grew my name and kind of cemented my name as a good MC in Birmingham mm -hmm. and um, yeah so I don't want to kind of skip too far ahead but it went from them days, stopped doing music, went to college, um, mm -hmm. went doing music much in college and then second year, in fact I'll tell you why so you know the music industry, yeah? yeah? As I said, I come from a church background. There was a time where it was like a lot of um, stuff where people were saying, oh, that person's Illuminati and... Mm. Yeah. Just, they're madness, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Everything was breaking yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, and I was just like, you know what? I don't really want to be part of that, you know? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So mm. yeah. I, like, it kind of put me off music. Mm. And then um, I was I was kind of thinking, oh, should I do gospel music or should I do my thing? And then I remember there was... Um, so I was like, we weren't doing music for the year. And I remember speaking to one of my friends and he was like, bro, but your music, you're not really talking rubbish in your music anyway, so, mm. you know what I'm trying to say, like, you're not really spreading a negative message, like, your thing's clean, you know what I mean, yeah. so... It's nothing to hold you back then. Yeah, so you'd have to, like, full-on do gospel and change who you are, basically. So I took that in, I thought, all right, cool. And imagine the first tune that I made was a tune called um, Off Track. Mm -hmm. In fact, it was the first, like, production, like, my brother was making the beat. And it was going to be a gospel song at the time, and um, we didn't do anything to the beat afterwards, we just kind of left it. Yeah. And that was the same beat for Off Track, which was the tune that really blew me up all over the UK. Yeah, so, that was a big tune still. Yeah, respect for you get me. So, that was, <laughs> <laughs> so after I took that break, I come back, um, I started, um, you remember I'm Grind Blog and all these YouTube channels in Birmingham. Yeah. Um, so basically, when I returned to music, they started doing their thing now. So I already had the whole uh, childhood kind of, um, not superstar, but you know what I mean, childhood yeah. star in Birmingham, um, returning. So it was like, oh, see, falls back. All right, cool. So then this time I was coming with proper lyrics and oh, really going in, bare freestyles and all of that. So, um, I forgot what I was saying now. <laughs> so bare freestyles and that. And then that's when I came with Off Track after that. Yeah. And then that's, that's what blew me up, basically. And uh, yeah, from there, um, linked up with Boy Better Know. So how did you transition into Boy Better Know? Um, so basically, I... So as I said, Off Track was blowing up um, beyond what we could manage, basically. So I said, okay, you know what? I need to start speaking to other people and try and manage the situation a bit better. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> so I think I had a conversation with... Um, I had a conversation with Kano's manager. Hey um, Kano. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had a conversation with a few people and um, I just thought like, we need help to manage the situation, whatever. Yeah. Um, and I had a conversation with um, Sam from Boy Better Know. He's the, he's the manager of Boy Better Know. Mm. And um, yeah, I just kind of liked, you know what I mean, the vibe and whatever. And yeah, he just kind of took over as my management and then. Um, yeah, we released Off Track. There was a lot of artists at the time trying to jump on the tune with me from like, like big artists at the time, like Tinchy Strider, um, the whole of Boy Better Know, mm. Roll Deep. Um, so like these, this is like 2011, 2012. Okay. So yeah, um, it was a big, well, it obviously still would be a big deal now, but yeah, it was like massive because yeah. I'm just coming from Birmingham. Yeah. Not much going on in terms of UK impact and whatever, and I've got Team Strider tweeting off track. I've got um, Mr. Hudson, he was in a yeah. Kanye West Good Music, like everyone just on Twitter going mad for the tune, so yeah, it was mad. That's an achievement, man. Yeah. Eh? yeah, thank you. So, Do you still keep in touch with the guys from. Yeah, so um, up until last year, I was managed by Sam, but then. Um, yeah, I just decided I need to kind of take my career into my own hands again and just, you know what I mean, do my thing. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still good with all, all of the guys, man, definitely. So the transition from before you got with Boy Better and how did you find that to go from what well, you was, doing to it was, it was It was, um, <laughs> it was very daunting, I'm not going to lie. It was very, like, it was very mad. I was, um, I wouldn't say I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. But you're never ready until you're in that situation. Yeah, and like, what can prepare you to get from where, you know what I mean, A, yeah. to, a to Z or whatever. So, you're not going to know until then. Yeah, you're not going to know until you're actually in it. Um, so yeah, even just stuff like, as I said, there was no industry, there was no infrastructure. Getting a manager, getting a booking agent, mm. um, 
getting all of that stuff, having like PAs and oh, I was mad. There's <laughs> <laughs> a lot to take in. Um, but yeah, we we done our thing, man. We done our thing, and it was very um, family based. And you know, um, Julia, the new guy, she really mm. looked after us as well um, back then as well. And you know, the whole of like Jeremy and all of that, they really took us in, and yeah. you know what I mean, treated us very good. And it's good that you got the support there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't didn't have to change who I was, nothing like that. Like they just loved me for who I was, loved mm. Credit for who he was. Credit to Mama. Yeah, 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 for real. And um, yeah, ah, you know what? I'm missing a key point actually. So what actually blew off track up? Um, one of the key parts was. Um, and this is a message, this is a lesson to everybody. Always check your emails, always check your messages because there might be something important in there. So basically, I got um, a Facebook message from some random person mm -hmm. and I replied to all, like, when, when I get messages from fans or whatever, I always reply to them. Oh, um, that's nice, nice. So, uh, <laughs> which was a good thing at the time because I got an important message. So there was a guy who was messaging me, he's like, yo, my sister works for the BBC, she wants to... Um, get your email or something and I was thinking I'm already getting paid on my lecture and whatever yeah. so like I thought all right cool just give me my email <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and then um it wasn't important he, his sister was actually a project or she what was her title she was a producer in the BBC <laughs> um for what DJ was it at the time I'm not gonna say it. I don't wanna I don't wanna um, get it wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she was a she was a producer and yeah. basically you know um, one extra live yeah he was basically to perform there. Oh, so, yeah. Big, big so, deal. Big, big deal. Yeah. And that was early, that was 2013, was it? 2012? No, yeah, 2012. So, if I didn't reply to that email, I wouldn't have performed. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, and that, that you know what I mean? Yeah. Read those emails, people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to miss your big, Trust your big me. shot. No, nah, I missed one last year, though. So oh. <laughs> we won't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So basically, um, I was, as I said, I'm, I'm independent, fully now, no manager, no agent, nothing. It's just me. Yeah. Congrats. You know, thank you. It's hard. It's harder, but it's you know what I mean. So I was just emailing DJs that I know, like mm -hmm. yo, you know what I mean. Let's set up an interview and whatever. And um, so now Julie. Um, she is on Beats One, Apple. Mm -hmm. So obviously it's a big station or whatever in it. So I haven't spoke. I didn't speak to her for a minute. So I emailed her, and it'd been like a couple of weeks now. And I thought, oh, like, yeah, she's busy, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like she ain't got back to me. <laughs> a month later, I thought, let me check my junk. No. <laughs> uh -oh. No. C four. Yes. No. Oh, my heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so we didn't manage to get an interview for but obviously next time you know what i mean check my spam all of that julie he's ready yeah he's, he's, ready, ready. he's available yeah we've got julie man we're gonna get a cracker next yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> we'll crack this bit out and send it to her <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's it. laughs> so yeah man check your emails check your spam all of that yeah mm -hmm. What's going on currently in your music career? Ugh. So, last year was very intense and um, I've done a lot of bucket list things for my music career. Mm -hmm. So, performed in America for the first time. Hey. Um, okay. at South, thank you, Congrats. at South by Southwest in Texas. <laughs> big, big deal. First time oh. going to America as well. Yes. But, um, yeah, so that Making was moves. yeah, so that was like the big thing. Took a lot to get there, and it was mm. very, you know, what I mean, very mad being independent, putting that together. When I came back, I put on my first event, which was my listening party. So I held that at the Birmingham Conservatoire. Oh, okay. right. Yeah, nice. so that was um, mm. another big thing. Then after that, I put on my first headline show independently as well. So that was Doing another, big things. you know what I mean. So that was another big thing. That was at the Hare and Hounds in Birmingham, mm -hmm. um, and then after that, like it was obviously, you know what I mean. Doing all of this yourself, it is very draining. Yeah. So, um, and I do, I, I don't just do music. I do um, art as well. Like yeah. I do, like I'm an artist as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, 
So I was doing a lot of artwork and um, what else was I doing? Oh, I started doing music teaching as well. As well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. spread the talent, share the talent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so it's a good look. You're doing yeah. like positive things, not only for yourself, but also Even for like, like the, the community. community. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's a good look. Good nah, thank you. So that was a lot of stuff that I was doing. I'm still music teaching now. Um, so basically, what I'm doing right now, I'm working on a few projects yeah. in between that. So I'm going to be coming with new music soon. So. Okay, you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I said all that to say I needed a little break. Yeah. So I just releasing, 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 yeah. you know what I mean? So just get my energy back. Because it refreshes you for when you come back, you can come back harder, innit? All right, then. Yeah. So, yeah, need to reboot, was, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Rest well, is important. It is. Yeah. Mm. How did they receive you in America? Um. So basically, I've done a few. I've done like, how much? How much uh, things did we do? So I done the official show, which was good. It was decent, um, mm -hmm. but I was on at an early time because I was on with uh, other artists from the UK that are much bigger. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I was like one of the opening acts. Mm -hmm. So oh. just warm, not warming the crowd up, but it was the support artists, isn't it? It wasn't support. even like a support thing because obviously okay. you know um, when people are coming into the venue, there yeah. wasn't there wasn't bare people as in like later on yeah. and it's kicking off now yeah. and. You know so what at I mean? the beginning, so at the beginning it was, but it was don't get it twisted. It was still good, still like, yeah, response and whatever. Um, so that was like the first show I did. They, they loved the garage music, um, and then mm. we done like um, Fader Fort, which was like the biggest, um, biggest stage kind of like South by Southwest. Mm -hmm. That went off. Yeah. That was mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a couple of reloads um, with um, I saw spitting with Frisco from Boy Better Know. Spitting with some American grime MCs out there. American grime MCs? Okay. Oh, damn. You heard it here first. I'm ATOV. Shout out to American grime, shout out to MC Jumanji, all of the Miami crew. Shout um, out. Shout out, yeah. <laughs> what you <Sorry>. said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we were doing our thing out there, man. It was good. Mm. Big up DJ Old Big as well. Sorry, he was, it was his set that we jumped on. So, what was your favorite thing about Colorism Fest? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what was your favorite thing about Colorism Fest? So we spoke about colorism in our last episode. How do you feel about it? Has it personally affected you? Um, in just normal life or music? Music, normal life in general, any experiences? Um, not really colorism, um, but obviously racism, that's just like a thing you experience day mm -hmm. to day. Um, and just like... You know, I was talking about a situation with um, my brothers the other day. Back in the day, yeah, it was in um, it was in the ends, yeah, and was walking to Tesco. Mm -hmm. Two twos now. Some police just drove up, just blocked off the curb and that, and then they just jumped out and they were like, "Oh, what are you guys doing?" So, walking out the curb. <laughs> you know, Mind I mean, my business. Mind my business. And they're like, "Oh, well, you know, there's been some reports of a robbery around right there. Just nonsense in it." Uh -huh. Oh, and you fit the description was like really, and then um, yeah, it was just you know what I'm saying situations yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, anyway, it was getting a bit heated, and then we just kind of just left the situation. And then imagine we're on our way back from Tesco, they're driving past throwing up gang signs at us. Oh wow! It's so wow. just like you know what? Let's just ignore them. They don't want to do it. They're trying to you know yeah, I mean? they're, they're trying, trying to draw us out. They're trying to draw us out in it. So, don't even. Yeah, that's just like you know what I mean. Like it's just regular in. Regular, yeah. regular life. Mm. It's not yeah. good though, obviously don't condone it. But yeah. It's never going to be acceptable, yeah. ever. <laughs> but um, in terms of colorism, I do see a lot of stuff on, online and, you know, light skin versus dark skin and mm. all of that stuff. Um, but I don't think I've been... Personally affected by it. Yeah. I think I'm kind of in the middle as well. I'm dark, but I'm not... You know what I mean, like. Oh, you we're were, having we're, I'm like, yeah. You know what I mean, uh, yeah. You're, we're brown skin now. We're brown. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're yeah. Not I, I kind of fall in the middle of like the dark skin and the light yeah. skin thing, and yeah. So no one's really said to me, "Oh, see for your, you know, you know what I mean." Yeah. Like, so nah, I can't really. Uh, they probably wouldn't though. <laughs> <laughs> they know better. They don't want the no, smoke. Boy, better no. <laughs> <laughs> they, they <got> <laughs> Have you guys experienced that actually? Let me ask you the question. Yeah, we, <laughs> we had that in the whole episode. Yeah, we've experienced it. Yeah, mine yeah. was mainly in school. Oh. I was always dark skin. We were both same. Yeah, it was we mainly in school. Was dark skin, but really? now, yeah, yeah, now we're brown skin. Oh, oh look, look how shocked he's sick. Are you happy? In school, I was black. I was black. Mm. Yeah. 
But I was darker then. I feel like I've got light on the side. I've got a light on the side. We ain't bitching. I am not. I am not. I'm not bitching. No cakes over here. Don't have me round here either, okay? My black is visible. But looking back, I weren't that dark, but. Yeah, that's what I was I was dark to them. Was it like a mixed school or was it more like. Predominantly white. Oh, okay, yeah. Mixed. More, I'd say more black. Yeah, well, I, was in I was in Hansel. I was in East London, yeah. so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then when I came from like Jamaica, I was like the only. It's like I was a token black, then I couldn't speak English, so like, yeah. Oh, okay. But, so the targeted people yeah. like, okay. Mm. But mostly colorism comes from your own, so it was mostly oh, like people. black people. Yeah. And they, they would tend to be darker than me, actually. When That's what I looked like as well. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Wants to be Jamaican, like, <laughs> yeah. 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 They didn't have no twin. <laughs> when, when I was in school, it was like, because um, I'm half African. Well, my dad's uh, Zambian. Oh, right? okay. So, but in school, being African, right, you know what I mean? No one wants to claim it. No one wants to claim it now. Yeah, now. So when you was in school, you was Jamaican. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was cool to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, well, in my school, like, yeah. you know what I mean? She was like, yeah, yeah, it's African now. Nah, 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 nah. mm. <laughs> oh, your name's a bit exotic. <laughs> <laughs> Kingston, Jamaica. Everyone was from Kingston. Nah, it's a small, bit, a small area. <laughs> so, um, I'll be honest, it weren't until I met my missus actually yeah. that I kind of felt proud to be like African and Jamaican. Yeah, okay, nah, she's not, she's Jamaican. Okay. Yeah, 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 but she kind of. Um, so, to embrace it. Yeah, so man, she's like, it's a good thing, you know what I mean? Is. So, but I wasn't saying I was, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Talking. Like, so, have you guys seen like some of them, um, like African, like Nollywood kind of? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just bad man acting wrong. Yeah. yeah. The fans too loud. You can't hear the acting. Yeah. It was just the wrong way. <laughs> my mum loves those movies. Yeah, I so love my mum loves them too. So, you know what I mean? It was kind of like a joke, like yeah. African, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um. <laughs> so, <laughs> man didn't really claim it, but you know, all of this stuff like Afro beats and Black Panther, and, yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm trying to say? I mean, that, when Black Panther came out, everyone oh, was Afro. Yeah. Like, Panda forever. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Africa, I'm saying that camera, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I mean? I want to go Africa actually. I, 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 I do too. To go, I want yeah. to, like, the, the year the return for Ghana, I would mm. love to yeah. do that. Like, you want to go Ghana? Yeah. Ghana's become a bit like, not mainstream, but yeah. that's like the place that's that's the, everybody is. Yeah. That's the go to place. Yeah. Anybody want to go to Africa? I want to go, go to small Ghana. parts of Africa. Nobody wants to go to Nigeria. I'm, I'm Nigerian <laughs> in my second life. In East London, I was the only Jamaican. My mom's friends are all Nigerian, like Yoruba. Like, yeah. I, I can understand a little bit, speak a little bit of Yoruba. Like, I say my past life. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm it's, it's true, though. Like, everybody talk about going to Africa now, it's Ghana. Ghana's yeah. like, the, it's like the diamond. Yeah. yeah. Only because it's, it looks like. I think most you of the people that do good things are from Ghana, yeah. so I think it gets so much recognition. Yeah. You, get, you have one or two like Nigerians that are like big stars, like your Anthony Joshua's, yeah. but then everything like popular wise like Ghana. Nigerian has got a lot of stars already. They have. Whiskey from Nigeria. A lot of them. Yeah, 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 yeah lots yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. Even the, the like, who's, who else is Nigeria? Like, um, you know, the UFC fighters, um, mm -hmm. Francis and. Uh, Karama, uh, Kamara Osman as well. Okay. And um, the other one, I forgot what his name is. Well, the biggest, the most subscribed the stars, black yeah. person on YouTube is KSI. And he's Nigerian. Yeah, so I didn't know that. Yeah, KSI, oh, okay. KSI is Nigerian. He's the most subscribed black person. Nice. That's good. Cool. Yeah. So you spoke about your missus. Yeah, yeah. And you recently got engaged. Oh, Woo! <laughs> Kings doing the right yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, we love to see that. Thank you, yeah, thank you, thank you. Black man. Love to see that queen. So, how was that and how does it feel? So, as I said, last year was very intensive. So, um, in secret, I was planning the proposal. So, oh. that is, you know what I mean? That's strenuous as well. So, I'm not sure if you saw it on social media. We'll you know, throw a little cue in there. Uh, yeah, little, so. you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what I did, I was. Um, I did an art exhibition on herself, so I done um, I done a year. Wait, you painted those pictures? Yeah, I painted them. Oh, you painted them? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Listen, we were seeing you. Girls are crazy. 
Body of the Sorry, you know. No, but this is the first time. Listen, you know what? Wait, then. We should be able to go at you because now, if we can't do that, we're going to be able to do that. 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 How many pictures was there? You see that? Life size! 11! That was a lot of time and effort. Can you teach a class? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, man. I appreciate that. They were so good. Yeah, man. I'm gonna do like a little, not a documentary, but like a short video, a short video. Right. Yeah. Oh, that would be so nice. That's good, though. I designed the ring as well. I'm not trying to, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, they're they're gonna want to hear that, but which yeah. is fine. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Bless up the man, thing, them. Man. Yeah. yeah. You need the work. That's the only thing in it. You have yeah. to. Yeah. I mean, props so, there, props is you in it. Nah, thank you, man. So, That's, um, it. Looked like a lot of hard work, yeah, and it's okay yeah. to live in that moment, yeah, and enjoy it yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. you deserve it. Yeah. yeah. And not a lot of men are stepping Courage up. Courage, man, to, you know what I mean, go hard yeah. as a lady, man. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Versa, man. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, so I um, took most of the year doing that. It took three years to actually get everything together, though. Oh, my God. So, um, three years? Yeah, hit! Bring it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bring it back. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it back to the internet. <laughs> it's not about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's good because... You know, again, just like what we were talking about before, someone like you, this is C4, mm. and he's doing this for his girl. Yeah. So why can't I, who look up to him, mm. yeah. want to do that? Mm. So when we see role models like this, doing stuff like that, it Sex makes it normal for young black boys yeah. know they got to respect and exactly. treat their woman right. Yeah. Message! Inspiring, yeah. Inspiring, yeah. Yeah. Inspiring, yeah. 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 See, you changing things and you don't even realize it. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's true. true. Yeah. It's, true. it's good to say, man. Because That's there's not a lot of yeah. positive black male role models in yeah. the UK as yeah. artists as well that young black men can look up to. Yeah. That they can identify with and say, you know what? That could have been me. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. We're from the same ends when why, why can't exactly, I achieve yeah. or do yeah, the same yeah. things? Yeah. Thing. Yeah. And you're doing a lot of yeah. positive yeah. things. Thank you, man. So just keep... Doing what you're doing, because yeah. whatever you're doing is good, right. and, and yeah. keep giving back. Thank success you. and blessings I to you and your that. future wife. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> just receive Just receive it. Yeah. Just receive yeah. it. We're blessing you. <laughs> just... Okay, so saying that, do you have any advice for single people or people in relationship? Hmm. Um. <clears throat> so, just in terms of like my dynamic with my missus, yeah. Um. Firstly, no relationship's perfect. Mm. Of course. Uh, it's just something that you have to work on with each other mm. and you both have to be willing to work on it as well. Compromise. Um, and compromise it, you know what I mean? So, um, but love does get you through that, like the hard times. In terms oh my of gosh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's it's real. It's so weird yeah. to see a brother yeah. just be like so open yeah. and honest yeah. and be like, I'm not how it is. Cool, man. That's, That's why it's real, real man. You That's why it's mean? real. So, um, I think the main thing for us was just the foundations of how we kind of built our thing. Um, you know when you've got like issues, yeah? Yeah. And then you call your, you say you'll call your girl like, you know, my man's on this and yeah. where, 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 where. Yeah, you know who told you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, I'll put like, say, me calling one of my, 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 the man, they're like, yo fam, like, stress me out, you know? Yeah. Instead of us doing that, we kind of kept it between us. And the best way. Way. You know what I mean? So yeah. our foundations was just us. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we worked through as much as we could together before going and sourcing other people's opinions mm -hmm. or whatever. Because what happens then, you kind of know each other even deeper than do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. Um so having that one to one time with each other and having that kind of um deep kind of communication with each other and um, understanding connection. and connection, mm -hmm. yeah, that's 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 the foundation really. That's important. Um, and prayer, a lot of prayer. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, what else? What else? So you know, when you go, when you get into a relationship, there's going to be different um, stages. Mm -hmm. You know, the, people say the honeymoon period. You know, you got a period where your people are kind of vetting the other person out, like, are they good for me? Yeah. Is that person, you know what I mean? Like, What's trying to want? take my cousin or trying to take yeah. my brother or you know what I'm trying to say, my son or you know what I'm trying to say. Like, you got family members that will be. You know, you know, very protective, yeah. basically. 
then you have to go through that period as well, mm-hmm. uh, which is hard, obviously, on both both sides, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so I've had that as well. We've been through, like, most things, really. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, just having a good support system. You know, your friends, yeah, you have to kind of... Um, not, not, <laughs> not everyone that gives you advice, you're meant to take their advice as well. No. You, yeah, kind yeah. Of, you know what I mean? Fact, this is the main judgment. thing now. I'm saying a lot of stuff, but the main thing is know your partner in it. Right. Yes. You're with in it. Yes. Get to know them and time basically. Yeah. Because a lot of people have the wrong impression and um, Thank you. you know what I'm saying? View of that person. They yeah. don't know like them. That. They don't know them like you know them. Yeah. So you need to know them first, get to know them, just you you two in your own little world and then come outside. You know what yeah. I mean? And then, I, I have a small thought question just on that. Yeah, yeah. Is it better than would your advice would be to people? to keep your relationship for yourself keep instead of inviting people yes, in to have yes, a say and have a yes, go because like then that social way social media and relationships especially yes, yeah. keep it to yourself good mm-hmm. um, but just between your partner obviously keep it as long as yeah, you can as long as yeah. you can until you know what I mean you guys are ready to kind of you know what I mean you don't want yeah. that type of influence exactly. you know, we, we all know you what it's like you want to be strong enough yeah. so that if somebody does say something yeah. it doesn't yeah. affect oh, your you relationship so you think it's better to keep it private yeah I don't like my stuff out there and plus then when it goes wrong Right. You have to explain, and when you let people in, you can't then decide when not to let them in. Right. All of y'all's yeah. relationship. But yeah. because you, advising you but, well. but for seafood, because he's in the public eye, you're not so. Like some. <laughs> but, but it's true. Ruby, no. but, it's, <laughs> but, but it's true because me and you'll be the same. I'll keep mine private. Yeah. But for someone like him, who's in the public it's eye, if, if he doesn't show his relationship, then girls will be inclined to think he's single yeah, and yeah. go his way. Well, you and can, that'll cause you, problems. You understand that? Issue, yeah. You yeah. can limit it though. You can, yeah. you can be, there's a certain way you can of course. do it. Yeah. Like be creative. Mm-hmm. Like, you know how us girls do? Yeah. Some of these girls are shy, and that ain't your real man. That's yeah. somebody else's man. You just post a hand on the hand. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that was? Yo, yeah. dangerous. Because that ain't your man. You know you round, girl. <laughs> yeah, so ultimately then, so. <laughs> Here's the real question: mm. How does your partner deals with that side of yeah. the situation? So that has been a, a thing that we've gone through as well. Mm. You know, what I'm trying to say to the whole um, letting the world know what go on. Yes. At first, it was more me pushing the issue, like, "Yo, I want to show you off to the world." Oh, now. you wanted oh, to? Yeah, That's me. not I a job. <laughs> 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 I take it back. I want it, buddy. <laughs> Is that because she didn't want to be? It, did, um, she didn't want to be in a limelight, or did yeah? It, so she she was more like you know she wasn't really on social media and stuff like that, and she didn't really want that kind of attention. You right, know, I say. But I was more, it was it was hard for me. You know what I mean? I was mm. thinking like, yo, that you know what I mean? Like I'm guessing. Because I guess you know that, that's one of some of the concerns I was imagine for somebody who in the public eye. Mm. Then you know you have it, and that's when you say you have to be to trust your partner. Yeah. yeah because yeah. then. She would probably get a thousand messages saying, yeah. he's here, yeah. he's there, yeah, 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 he's yeah. there. So that's why I was wondering, mm. how important is it for you and your partner to have mm. a really good connection to know, yeah, like, to know what you know. Because even after that, so that was the first stage in it. Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, you start to grow, build into a relationship, and she's, you know what I mean, you, as you said, you're compromising, mm. you get into each other's worlds and whatever. So um, then it was more like, okay... Um, we're cool to post each other now and she's she's more comfortable yeah. Um, so yeah we've, we've, we've gone through both sides where it's like ah oh, boom That's good, and then um, you know you, you, it's like a normal thing now where say you with your missus yeah say I'm at C4 or whatever mm-hmm. it's like oh you're scared to post me fam like what's going on like you know that vibe now you know I mean? right, right. I just post her anyway when I'm you know I'm to the thing but it's not oh, like a forced nice. thing of uh, mm-hmm. her saying oh she's got a kind of thing of oh you're not posting me what's going yeah. on you know because she knows you Yes, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, we know each other well enough now, and you know what I mean. There's not that pressure at all. Ah, nice, so sweet. It's like mm. a beautiful love story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yeah. I mean, actually, first question about um, advice to single people. Yeah. 
Um, just be yourself. Okay. Just be yourself. <laughs> Become the, like, I'm going to say people say become the best version of yourself. Mm -hmm. But what I was doing, because I was, um, you know, I wasn't, um, I wasn't trying to just get with anyone. Mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of knew mm -hmm. I wanted to be with someone and be in a serious relationship. Intentionally but, dating. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm yeah. trying to do. And that's so, what makes it. Um, yeah, so I was kind of thinking, oh, I don't want to just, you know what I mean, just yeah. be out there. And, anyway, and it, as an artist, people say, oh, it's hard to be an artist. It's hard as an artist to trust people as well. Definitely. Because you're thinking, oh, who's going to, who's really with really there. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm trying to say? And my mentality was, ah, oh, I want to be with someone that knew me before I was C4. And yeah. That's, you know that's I mean? wise. Yeah. But then that didn't work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> as I'm saying, so it's really yeah. hard. So yeah. then um, once I started just kind of thinking, you know what? I'm gonna do my thing and just you know I'm just let it happen naturally. Yeah. Happen naturally and um, you know when I when I met my missus, um, well she wasn't my missus then, but when I met her, I just thought you know what I'm just gonna be myself. I'm not like gonna pretend I'm something I'm not. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We both we both kind of just was ourselves with each other and that was that was our foundation. That's the best way. You know what I'm saying? Um, obviously you're trying to, I'm not saying like, yo, don't take her out somewhere nice yeah. or whatever Cause I still, <laughs> yeah. I still, you know what I'm yeah. trying to say so Don't be tight guys yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I just was myself and I thought, you know, I'm not gonna like Try and jazz up my character and whatever, yeah. like, I'm me in it And yeah. if you yeah. like me, People see through that anyway Yeah, yeah. 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 you see through it And so, yeah man, just just be yourself and um if you're if you're single and you see other people with it, don't worry, man. You you know what I'm trying to say. Your like, time people, soon come. Your time soon come. Wait, 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 wait,
remain solid when things ain't popping anymore. Because mm. yeah. when things ain't popping, like them new fans, they, they're just going to go to the mm. next up thing, innit? So make sure your community are behind you first. Yeah. And the way you get your community behind you is by just making your music. Do you think, yeah, one follow do you think the artists from Birmingham are being respected enough? Like, do you think they have enough shine down here like to say, all right, cool, we know there's talent there, can we get some people from there? Because I think that's what, like, I used to do music like back in the day as well, mm -hmm. and it was so difficult. I used to be around a group called Fifth Element, a lot of people remember them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I used to, like, it's back then, like, when we had a good buzz and stuff, yeah. but nobody wanted to give us deals yeah. and all the deals were still going mm. to the people from London so I was just wondering like just from that side of it like mm. do you think like people from Birmingham do get the respect that they need because like I said it's like every five years they say you can have one so mm -hmm. Lady Leisha then another five years you can have Miss another mm -hmm. five years you can have JK yeah. and then another five years you can have Stardom you know so yeah. it's, it's stuff like that I was just wondering what, like what, what it is yeah and we've not really got much infrastructure and industry That's in Birmingham. Yeah. So what happens is there will be the one person that kind of um, gets picked up. Do you get what I'm trying to say? They will get picked up and then it will look like, oh, they're the one doing the thing. Yeah. Really, in Birmingham, there might be a few so people much, doing their so thing. Do you get what I'm trying yeah, to say? So, so it's people. just sometimes you just get that connection with someone from London. Or it could even just be in the Midlands and you just kind of, they've got the networks, they've got the links and whatever, and you just go through. So... Um, obviously, Fifth Element, you know what I mean? That's like Midlands Mafia times. And they were back, yeah. Yeah, because right I, I feel like that time as well, a lot of people were chasing deals, and that's how the industry was built. It was like yeah, it was. labels, if, you ain't got, if you're not signed... There was no YouTube. You know what I'm trying to say? There was no YouTube. Yeah. So you're trying to get on TV, you're trying to get radio playlisting, Especially you know what I'm trying to say? You're trying to get signed, have the big £100,000 music video yeah, yeah. and all them things. Mm. So the industry's changed now. So you don't yeah. need yeah. all yeah, that. You, don't. you get what I'm trying to say? So... It's now it's just even me like I'm I'm still trying to adapt to the new thing of like streams and right, you know, yeah. getting right. a million views on YouTube. Right. And yeah. Plus, radio was so important back then. Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now it's not. Now it's, it's, not, not it's, not, it's all about Spotify playlists and yeah. things of uh, you know what I mean. So SoundCloud and all. That. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm just so I'm I'm still trying to uh, to be honest. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Um, so yeah, um, it's, it is it is mad. The industry's just changed. Yeah, the industry's just changed. changed. So I I just think it's more. Um, from what I've seen, someone just getting a little buzz in their ends, and then because the industry is so small now, everyone knows everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You might just pick up that person. Oh, because a guy from Birmingham called Millions, and yeah. he's doing his thing, and you know what I'm trying to say. Like yeah. there will be another another kid, and then someone will pick up on them, and then. Mm -hmm. But the, the mad thing is, there's people behind the scenes, right? I might say millions. I don't know his situation. Yeah. But when you see certain people, you think, oh they're not signed or they've got no support system where they're just bossing it up. Mm. They've actually got people behind them, a team behind them yeah. that's actually working. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? But you wouldn't know yeah. unless you kind of... No, the bit that you're not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, you get what I'm trying to say? So, um, that's just, that's yeah, good. I think, I think at this time as well, it is different because when we first started, like me and my brother kind of blew up at a similar time, yeah. it was literally just us, um, Chilla, right. um... In terms of like UK, SX, another producer made Woo with them. So there wasn't much S people. Yes, I know SX. So then now yeah. you've got Lotto Boys, UK, yes. you go. Miss, Lady Leisha, like bare people mm. doing You know what I think as well? It's because of the internet. Because of your glow up and what you guys did back then without any of this. I think if you was to do do what you was doing back then now, when it was good, you would have yeah, definitely... Yeah, would have took it further. Yeah, it's, way new, further. Really, it's like we're in a new industry now, yeah. we're in a new game, so... That's it from us guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, press the bell for updates on our new videos. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>